what that was either. It's another Godfather piece. It's the wedding of course, scene. Of course. It's the Let's wedding scene. Keep going with the Godfather. I mean, it's so good, man. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Great Measures. I'm Judson, and this is Great Richard. Great Measures. <laughs> so we're, we're going to do a switcheroo. Switcheroo. And I'm going to show him a song. I'm extremely nervous. You should be. I'm going to stay open-minded. And that's it. Okay. So we're going to listen to a song by Royal Blood. Okay. Okay. I've heard of them. Never listened to them, though. Two guys, Ben Thatcher and Mike Kerr. Bass and drums. That's it. Bass and drums. Okay. That's interesting. But he puts a lot of effects on his bass to like have an octave. I mean, you'll hear the low end on it. Two guys. You know the name of the song? Uh, I mean, I do. Would you just hold on? It's like, I'm sorry, you know, I'm excited. It's my first time to do this. I'm sorry, I'm excited. Um, they were on the Metallica Blacklist. Uh huh. The covers album. The covers album. They did Sad But True on there. Okay. I just found them recently because I was looking for some drum and bass stuff. Mm -hmm. I like drum and bass mm -hmm. stuff. And I heard that Jimmy Page was a big fan of this band. Okay. They actually. Uh, gave him an award for some, I should know this, but I don't. Gave him an award in, in Britain and then uh, shout out to the kingdom. Was that where they're from? Yeah, Worthing, England. Did I say that? Did I say that already? You may have, I don't know. Shout out to the kingdom. Is that where the name comes from, Royal Blood? Sure, bro. Who knows? Maybe they're royals. But, um, and then, uh, they gave Jimmy Page more than I think he gave them an award, so they're sort of connected. They're sort of there's I don't really, really I, I don't really like to talk about the problem most of the time. I like to talk about the solution, yeah, as sure, you know. Sure, absolutely. But I think recently they had a little bit of a an issue because they were at a live show and one of them didn't like how the crowd was responding, so they walked off stage. Nice. So they got some bad press for that, but hey, you know, any press is. Good yeah. press, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think you'll dig the subject matter of the song. Okay. Um, Lyrics are understandable for the most part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I think you'll you'll identify with it because you're a dirty dog. Would you consider I, I, this to alcoholic be alcoholic and addict? Son uh, of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, to be sure. Would you consider this to be just straight rock and roll? Um. We'll see. I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm Space curious. Space and drum, I mean, it's it's definitely, it, I mean, rock and roll is. Yeah. So, nice. yeah, it's yeah. rock and roll. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what subgenre, you you decide. Okay, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready to roll, man. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Uh, you did not tell me the name of the song, Rookie. I know. <laughs> It's called Honey Brains. Honey Brains. Honey Brains. By Royal, Royal Blood. You ready? Proceed, Judson.
So how'd you feel about it? <laughs> if uh, if you hadn't have told me that it was just a bass and a guitar, I mean a bass and drums, I would not have known it. Mm -hmm. He's definitely got some pedals and octave raising effects going on there. It's cool. He's got some cool riffs. Yeah. Uh, so lyrically, caught in a vicious cycle. Um, I. I I interpret it as addiction. A hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Gotta be, right? For sure. Uh, it's very relatable when you hear it written out or see it written out like that. I did hear him talk about, I heard a couple of rock bottom. Dude, it said rock bottom yeah. twice. Yeah. Um, speaking of rock bottom, do you know the band UFO? What'd you call me? I guess you don't. Uh, anyways, back to Royal Blood. So they've been around for a while, I guess few years they released their first album in 2014 i think they started oh. in 2011. oh wow okay i was couldn't that. really get gigs for a while they've had a couple different drummers i think mm -hmm. but first album to that song came out 2022 oh wow by okay. itself okay um he's got a jack white sound to his voice yeah and he does that a lot he goes into his falsetto and he mm. sings i dig that there's a there's a black keys element in there i can me. hear that yes I was but, actually going to bring that up. But they do more, um, like their latest. I, I, I like, uh, I was going to show you another song called Triggers. Okay. Um, we can do that one next, then. But that that's straight up recovery. I, I mean, the dude's got to be in recovery, no doubt. Yeah, got to be. Um, Triggers is, is good. But, I mean, a lot of the songs, they're just slamming like that. They're yeah. just slamming like yeah. that. And they, the big riffs up under, what, what you would need to have a bass and drum band and it sound mm -hmm. worth listening to in yeah. some way. They do. But his voice, he does that a lot. There's some soul in there. But yeah. it's that English way, too, yeah. I think, of, of, of being able to, I don't know, that's endearing to me, yeah. the, the vocal aspect of it. I think, yeah, like I said, I've heard of them, and I think the only reason I've heard of them is I think Lars from Metallica is a big fan of theirs. I think they got some, within the musical. Maybe they've, maybe they've opened for Metallica before, I'm not sure. Within the musical community, I know they've got, I know the Arctic Monkeys, they played a show or a festival or something with them, one of the guys wearing a t-shirt. I think I heard them, I think I was watching a movie the other day or a show or something, and they 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 were there's. I heard them in the show. I'm starting to notice them more now that I've obviously mm -hmm. opened the door to them. But um, yeah, it just gets me hyped. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very high energy. I'm, I'm sure their shows are. I get I can understand now the uh, right the crowd not being into you're it. Standing and you're there up watching, there, like yeah. playing your ass off, you know, and, yeah. and playing that style of music, and the crowd's just kind of like standing there with their arms folded, like I probably put my toys down and they did and run too. They went home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they went back to the kingdom. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I don't really. I mean, I, I liked it. It's got some good some good groove. It's got that the raising of the octaves, and I enjoyed it. It was cool. Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the voice style. Really? Yeah. Um, like I love Jack White, but I also can only tolerate so much of Jack White's voice. Yeah, I see what you mean. Black Keys are the same way. I love what Black Keys do, but I can only take. So I got much. I got closer and closer. To, I got I got. At first, I didn't ever like Jack White's voice. Mm -hmm. This song is a little more. I thought when it first came on, you were gonna be like, "Bro." No, I enjoyed it. I, like I but said, then I, I was gonna be like, "Wait, trust me to the beat when, sure, it, when yeah. it start when it comes yeah. in." No, I like the like. Um, I like that. It's almost like a funk groove with the drums yeah. there in the beginning. Oh like, yeah, it was very, uh, very cool. Very I mean, dude, still got to play the bass. I mean, the bass is yeah. with the bass drum and, yeah. and does the whole thing. But it's I like how they weave in the melodies because they would play. Uh, that whole um, dun, 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 like he, when he wasn't singing that he played on his bass mm -hmm. so he's playing melodies that he had been singing that are peppered in there while sure. he's singing something else 
I like the chorus of his voice. You know, the... the da, 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 that's the pre-chorus. But okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That, that... Because I'm with you on the on the lyrical style for a second. You need to hear more of their stuff yeah, to kind of sure. hear it. For sure. Because in this song, it's a little more that whiny. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm sure, that's, guessing that's I what think, you're talking I, about. Yeah, and I think that's what... I, like I said, I try to stay open-minded about it. I think I had a an idea, which I was wrong, I think I had an idea of what I was going to expect vocally, and I didn't hear that, so it was like it was kind of an abrupt, oh, this is, like I said, I don't, I'm not complaining about it, it was just, if I had a, an issue with my first ever listening to, of one of their songs. Just if you, feel, if you hate it, just say, no. I hate it, and I never want to no. do it like this again. No, I can say myself. And I never want to do this switch up thing, and it's over. <sighs> Well, that's just not going to be up to us. Rip that's going to be up to these people in the comments. Yeah. Well, they're going to be like, "This is the dumbest <laughs> thing that John ever done. Don't do this anymore." <laughs> oh, Richard has no depth <laughs> to what he has to say. Justin about likes breaking. terrible music. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I one thing I do like about the vocal thing sound a little bit. What you can hear if you were listening to other stuff is they'll they'll put a and you can kind of tell a little bit there. They'll put a distorted yeah. thing on the and mm -hmm. I, I dig that. Yeah. I dig Almost that. like he's uh like Maynard does this in tool shows where uh I think it's I think it's Stink Fist. He's got a, a is it a megaphone? Mm-hmm. It's yeah, almost yeah. got that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um I like that sound. L C D sound system does that too. He'll do that every now and then. I think that's just rocking. I know a lot of people don't like that. But I, I like I yeah. like the distorted sort of sort of like old sounding microphone, telephone, megaphone, something phone, mm -hmm. a phone something. Sure. Um, but no, honey brains. You know, I think it's just getting stuck. Yeah. Things it, getting stuck in your brain. Yeah. And, before I get stuck in my honey brains. Mm -hmm. Cycle of addiction, baby. Yeah. Or. You know, might want to quit this before I. Melt my brain into honey. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Well, there you cool. go. Cool. I enjoyed it, man. Well, good. So, uh, what am I supposed to say here? What am I supposed to say right now? Thanks for watching. Everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Royal Blood with Honey Brains. I'm Judson. That's Mr. Richard. We are great measures. We are great measures. Or you uh, have a wonderful day. <laughs>